Ericsson's W980i. Now, as you can see, it's a clamshell, obviously a clamshell phone. Um, it's actually Sony Ericsson's first 8 gig Walkman clamshell. So, yes, you heard correct, it's 8 gigs. So you're being packed with a really nice amount of inbuilt memory of this, so that's a good start to review, isn't it? I think you'll agree, yeah, it is. Okay, Sony Ericsson, um, they're telling us it's Turbo 3G, which isn't really an official measurement, but a firm salute to the HSDPA connectivity. So we're looking at fast internet speeds, um, really quick download times, which is really good if you're into downloading music, um, videos, or maybe uploading onto Facebook. So that would be nice and speedy for you there. Um, and let's go talk about design. And on the outside, as you can see, it's really glossy, um, almost serves as a backup mirror really. It's not a fantastic mirror, but it will definitely be able to tell you whether you've got pepper in your teeth. Um, I like what Ericsson have done, they've kind of, it looks like they've got um, like a glass panel over the front. There's a nice transparent little area at the bottom where light comes through when you listen to music or um, when the phone's ringing. So that's really nice, I really like the outside of that. So opening it up. The design's not as nice as the outside, but it is still nice. There's a bit of a retro thing going on. We've got round buttons, which makes a change um, from square buttons. And they're nicely spaced as well, which I like. Um, there'll be no fumbling, no kind of um, pressing the wrong button and having to delete when you're text messaging or dialing. So I really like that. Um, and moving on to what the phone's all about, it's the Walkman phone, so it's all about the music. There's um, 8 gig of memory, as I mentioned before, so that means you can pack in around 8,000 tracks onto this little handset here. Um, there's three ways to access the music. You've got um, this at the front, which adds to the really nice effect of the design which I mentioned earlier. Um, it's got these touch buttons here with haptic feedback. Haptic feedback is always good, gives you a little vibration so you actually feel like you're doing something rather than just tapping away aimlessly on a screen. So you can use that to access your music. Um, we've also got a dedicated um, Walkman key here and of course you can um, enter the Walkman via the menu. Um, the menu is really easy to navigate through. Um, like with most Sony Ericsson phones, um, you go through the menu, there's tabs, scroll left or right and it will take you to the different features of your phone. So there's nothing complicated about that. If you've used the Ericsson handset before, you'll know exactly what you're dealing with. Um, so back to the music. Um, the phone features something called Clear Audio Technology. Now, this is designed to enable the phone, enable your music, sorry, to sound like the original track. Um, I'm not entirely convinced by this, so let's have a listen. Okay, while it does sound good, um, I think it's a bit far-fetched for Ericsson to say that um, they've created some kind of technology that will allow it to sound like the original recording. It does sound good. Um, when it gets a bit louder, um, it does sound a bit hollow, so I'm not really agreeing with Sony Ericsson on that one. Okay, uploading music is quite easy, as you would do um, with most um, MP3 players, uh, music phones. You can use your media, Windows Media Player or you can just move files around as you would do like Word documents and every, any other kind of file. Um, this also comes with built-in FM transmitter, so if you want to share music that's really cool. You can send your music over to uh, devices with FM receivers, so that's good. It also packs Bluetooth, so if you want to share your music again uh, on a speaker or maybe on, you want to listen to it on your Bluetooth headphones you can do so with this. And it also um, packs Track ID. Now, if you don't know what Track ID is, it's basically um, a feature that allows you to hold your phone up to a stereo or something like that and it will go and find <coughs> all the details of your track for you. So we're talking track name, album and some other details about the track there. So that's a really handy feature to have on the phone. Um, okay, music aside, um, it's packing a 3.2 megapixel camera which is, makes quite a nice surprise, quite a nice change really because a lot of phones which are heavily oriented with the music don't really pay much attention to the camera so it's nice to see Sony Ericsson giving a bit of love to the photo element and the music element of the phone. Um, we've also got photo and video editing software which I found quite easy to use, quite handy as well to have on your phone so that's really good. 
um, takes about two and a half hours to charge, although I did run into some problems when charging it, it wasn't very responsive when I plugged it in. And I found this problem on a few other Sony Ericsson handsets as well, so maybe it's not just me, it's actually Sony phones, so watch out for that. Um, there's no 3.5mm jack, which is a bit annoying, you're going to have to use a designated headphones or Bluetooth headphones as I mentioned earlier. Um, it's only available in black and prices depend on your contract. And there you go, Sony Ericsson's W980R.